Now, it's called pay it later, but the problem is they're not paying at all. Tonight, we expose the lucrative company accused of leaving small businesses in financial ruin. Nat Wallace from A Current Affair, can we talk about pay it later or is it pay it never? Imagine a business owner that comes to you and says, my well, business is doing really well, but I never know where the cash is. How much money do you owe, Thomas? Thomas Hegarty is usually full of business advice. CEO and founder of Pay It Later. His business partner and former longtime friend Donald Graham sells himself as a financial expert. Where is all the, all the cash going to? Right now, businesses across Australia are chasing the company owned by these two men, Pay It Later, for millions. So, man, I can't talk about it. It's in the courts now. Sorry. That's a pretty lame excuse. There are people right now who can't even put dinner on the table because of the money you have taken from them. I just don't understand how someone can do that and sleep at night. This money isn't theirs, it's ours. Tonight, a current affair can reveal what they're up to and the devastation that trails their company. I even said to my staff, we need to make some sales. I don't know what's happening because I don't have enough money to pay you guys. You're a small mum and dad business back on your feet after COVID. Only the licensed buy now, pay later company you trusted kept your hard earned. And what hurts more, one of the owners is waking up to views like this. Our sales was 850,000. The Seal Operas says he should be a millionaire. Now he's broke. And as I was adding up, I got to 200, 300, and yeah, I started sweating a little bit. And when we sort of got the full amount, yeah, I was probably a bit numb, to say the least. He signed up with Pay It Later, one of many companies taking advantage of the buy now, pay later boom, where customers can get goods up front without having all the money. Problem is, this one operated differently to the others. It took money from customers and didn't always give what it owed back to the businesses. When I started looking through my accounts, uh, I actually found out that they didn't pay me a dollar in the first year. So they took $200,000 uh, payments and they didn't pay me a single dollar. It means Vasil might as well have given away all of the products he sold from his gel blaster shop, X-Force Tactical. Pretty much the whole entire gel ball industry jumped on it. We have a lot of customers that come forward and say, look, we would like to sort of buy one of these products, but we just can't afford it in one hit. I don't have a name low enough for pay it later. Colin Corcoran, owner of Command Elite Hobbies, is another victim of pay it later. We're talking a sum of 171,000 plus some. The 34-year-old, a first-time small business owner, has spent months chasing his cash. He says late last year, pay it later stopped working. Look, this is absolutely devastating to my company. Even last month, Pay It Later thanked him for his understanding, promising, I will assure we'll make some payment plan. I've put my absolute blood, sweat and tears into this joint, so I'm extremely proud of the company. What do you owe? One million? Two million? Pay It Later started in 2018. Nearly 200 businesses signed up. It's owned equally by Don Graham and Thomas Hegarty. As both operate other businesses, their merchants from Pay It Later claim they're owed over $2 million between them. These businesses make up less than 10% of the company's clients. We have Afterpay, Layby, ZipPay, Hum, Klarna, PayPal now do a pay in four option, and we did have Pay It Later. Did have? Did have. What was wrong with Pay It Later? They just didn't pay. So that was the problem. The pay it later turned into pay it never. Tara Lowe, who operates bulk buy warehouse Snack Easy, helping disadvantaged families, got out quick, but can't understand how pay it later is still operating. How much do they owe you? 
A touch over 34,000. Where? I don't know where the money's going, but it's certainly not coming to us. A current affair has seen payment problems from as far back as two years. Yet pay it later or never, we're still advertising last week. But now the directors are doing something. I can reveal they're going head to head in the federal court, both taking action out against each other. Graham wants full control of the company, while Hegarty wants the company wound up, leaving a glaring question. What about the missing millions? What do you want to say to them? And you're trying to have the company wound up. You can just, what, walk away from this? We caught up with Thomas on his way to work. Why well, can't, can't you comment? comment? Can't comment. Can't comment. No. Or won't comment. I can't. Are they going to get their money? I can't comment. It's in the courts now. Why are you still advertising pay it later if you can't comment? How are they expected to feel? I can't comment. What about the seal? Eight hundred. Mr. Hand, I said I can't comment. Eight hundred thousand dollars. He can't feed his own family. I are can't you going comment. out for dinner tonight? We just won our money. Would I ever trust another startup? You know, no name, pay it later scheme again? Absolutely not. I wouldn't touch it with a 40-foot pole. A current affair has notified ASIC, Fair Trading, the New South Wales and Queensland Police, that even if they investigate pay it later, it appears the dreams and hopes of some hard-working Aussies have been shattered. It's Thomas and Donald, um, I both know that you guys are family people, so I'm speaking to you from a family perspective. Do the right thing. Have a good day at work, Thomas. Both Hegarty and Graham have confirmed they blame each other over payments ma not made by Pay It Later. As for who's right, well, it will be up to a court to decide unless authorities intervene first.